this is the g naked and we are using the uh, reagent and solution and all the things from genie uh, for isolating the plasmid dna so we will learn about isolation of plasmid from e coli or isolation of plasmid dna and purification we will learn in this class so first we require to take 2 ml of original e coli culture this is the e coli culture which is ready and uh, centrifuge the culture at 10000 rpm for 5 minutes we have to use the cooling centrifuge and centrifuge at 10000 rpm and we have to discard the superlatent and uh, suspend the pellet there will be a pellet at the bottom only we have to take the pellet and we have to add 250 ml of g1 solution and also we should add 250 ml of g2 solution these solutions come in the kit so we have to use these two solutions and then we have to mix the solution gently by immersing by tilting the uh, tube we have to just mix them not uh, more than 5 minutes then we have to add 350 ml of g3 solution mix again gently so these three solutions we have to add and mix slowly by just tilting by inverting and then we have to invert at 13000 rpm for 10 minutes at 4 degrees centigrade then from that we must collect only the supernatant and out of the super uh, supernatant we have to take only 100 microliter and add 100 microliter of isopropanol and keep it in the fridge this one step is over this is a crude sample of plasmid where we can further uh, purify it by centrifuging at 10000 rpm at room temperature and air drying it this part we are doing it later the supernatant that we have collected in the first step only 100 microliter we have used the remaining amount of supernatant we are now using it for purification of plasmid dna where take the uh, dna sample in a spin column keep it in the collection tube Uh, in the second step, what we are using is this setup, a uh, simple setup where there are two things. This is called the, you can see there are, there are two things. This is called the spin column, and this is called the collection tube. This is the spin column, and this is the collection tube. You can see it later. And uh, we are adding the sample into this spin column. All right, and elution occurs. This purification and uh, elution is a step in purification. and the the sample is will undergo elution and the elution or eluate will be collected in the collection tube in this we are adding the sample <coughs> elution occurs that means the the sample will come out after purification and the eluate will be collected in the collection tube and uh, we have to centrifuge at 10000 rpm at room temperature for one minute by adding 400 microliter of the sample so we have taken 100 microliter there and from the remaining from the remaining supernatant take 400 microliter and put it in the spin column keep it inside the, the collection tube and centrifuge at 10000 rpm at room temperature for one minute next we have to discard the eluate what is eluate eluate is collected in this collection tube which you have to discard you have to remove the solution or the sample which is called an eluate from this collection tube and then place this in, uh, place this spin column again in the collection tube at 500 microliter of wash buffer 1 this is from the gd kit 500 ml of uh, wash buffer 1 again centrifuge at 10000 rpm at room temperature for 1 minute and then second time again discard the eluate eluate second time again you have to discard in the eluate and add 750 micro microliter of wash buffer 2 and centrifuge at 10000 rpm okay at room temperature for 1 minute and third time you are discarding the eluate this we are washing actually we are removing the eluate this washing and purification so we are third time discarding the eluate again you are centrifuging at 10000 rpm for 3 minutes at room temperature now place the spin column in a new fn top so fourth time what we are doing is we are not using this we are using this we are using the spin column and we are keeping this spin column in a new fn top okay so 
place the spin column in a new F and W and add 100 microliter of illusion buffer and discard the spin column. Now we don't want spin column. Now we don't want spin column because in the final step, the DNA is collected in the F and W. Because you are keeping the spin column in the F and W. Now finally, in the last stage, the DNA would have been collected in the F and W and that you have to label it as DNA or purified DNA and that you should label it as purified plasmid or purified plasmid DNA and use it later for running the chapter.